and I'm with Sam Jelani and it's an A-Day. In announcements, the theater department is preparing for an upcoming musical. Let's take a look at their auditions. went pretty well. You know, I was a little shaky in parts, but I think overall I did pretty well. Dancing auditions this year are going to be pretty challenging. I know Caroline told a lot of people to take tap over the summer. Um, I unfortunately did not have the opportunity to take tap. Kenny, our choreographer, discussed that dancing is like pretty much the biggest part of this show, and it's going to be like way harder than previous shows. So I'm, I am not going to lie, I am a little stressed about the dancing audition. <laughs> is probably picking up the dance moves because I didn't go to the class this summer that they had, but luckily I focused really well and picked all the choreography up. The experience I have with acting, I've um, participated in theater throughout my high school career and a little bit before that. Um, I'm excited for pretty much everything this year. I think it's going to be a really successful show and I'm excited for it to rain on stage. Um, make sure to come see it. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, if you missed the first school big show today, or if you didn't like your fellows, please come to the main auditorium today. This will be your last chance to have this year's school picture taken to appear in the 2016 yearbook with your graduating class. Don't miss out. You will not be called out by a grade level this time, so please choose a time between class, lunch, or during a flex or study hall time, or in a class where your teacher gives you permission to go down to get your picture taken. Be sure to use your planner, hall passes, and get your teacher's permissions first. Photographers should be available all day, but only for today. If you have any questions about your school photo purchases, please call Reed Portrait Group directly at 436-5550. Today and tomorrow, you'll be voting for the 2015 Homecoming Queen. Let's take a closer look at each of our candidates in this video. Hi, I'm Jordan, and I'm up for Homecoming Queen. Um, what do I love about Oak Park? I love the staff. I think we have a great group of teachers. Um, I'm really close with a few of them, so that's awesome. Uh, what's it like to be up for Homecoming Queen? It's an honor, and it's really nice. Uh, it's also really stressful, but it's a great way to start senior year, and I'm just super excited. Hi, I'm Landon Patterson, and I'm up for Homecoming Queen. I love Oak Park because it's such a good environment that it's made it made me want to be involved you know like I want to be in everything I I love to be involved here and of course cheerleading and my friends and those Friday night football games I get to cheer at but I don't know it's just a good environment and a good atmosphere to be around when I was nominated for homecoming queen I it was an honor like I've never experienced something like that and I didn't see that coming and I didn't know that that was possible for me, so I'm just really on honored and thankful that my peers look at me that way, so. Hi, I'm Lori, and I'm up for Homecoming Queen. I'm just so honored to be up with these amazing ladies, and my favorite part about Oak Park is the family and the community we all share. Hi, I'm Carly, and I'm up for Homecoming Queen. Um, my favorite thing about Oak Park is the fan sections at all of our events, and spirit and the staff is pretty great too and um, it's just an honor to be up for homecoming queen I'm really excited hi I'm Amy Lehman and I'm up for homecoming queen and I love everything about Oak Park it's my favorite place to be I love that we're a family I love all the activities I'm involved in I love everything <laughs> and it's really cool to be up for homecoming queen especially since I love the school so much um, 
definitely dreamt about it since freshman year, but didn't actually think it would be happen. Would happen. So thanks to everyone and everything. Hi, my name is Caitlin Henderson, and I'm up for homecoming queen. Um, my favorite part about Oak Park is literally everything. I go to school every day happy and just ready to go. Like I love this place. It just makes me so happy all the time. There's, it's just a great place. Uh, it's really became a second home to me. Um, and being up for homecoming queen, uh, it really means a lot. Like it's so surreal. I never thought that I'd be in this situation. Uh, it means a lot. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Nelson, and I'm nominated for homecoming queen. And I think my favorite thing about Oak Park is the unity that we have as a school. It's just so great to come to a school every day where um, you're being lifted up and we're all talking and getting excited about the same things. And it, um, it's awesome. And uh, being up for homecoming queen um, sounds cliche, but it's such an honor. I mean, um, I've always, you know, looked up to all the girls who are up, you know, before me. And so to be one of them is really crazy. And um, it's really awesome to think that this is just a handful of the incredible girls and people in Oak Park. Hey Oak Park, the Science Club will be hosting a guest speaker this Friday. Wayne Cope is being inducted to the OP Hall of Fame and has agreed to talk to OP students from 10 to 11 a.m. this Friday. He is a communication expert for NASA and has worked on a plethora of projects throughout his career. Please come hear him talk about his life at OP, his preparation for a career in te technological communications, and all of his projects that he's worked on at NASA and elsewhere. Please see your science teacher or Mr. Gold for a pass. The presentation will be W208 from 10 to 11 on Friday. This homecoming kicks off Spirit Week. Tomorrow is Blue on Blue Day. Monday is Blob Day. Wear one outfit, one color outfit. Tuesday is Young versus Old. Dress up as a baby or seniors. Wednesday is Ninja Day. Thursday is an awkward phase. And Friday is USA Day. Show your school some spirit this coming homecoming week and dress up. Freshmen, tomorrow is the homecoming parade. It is also Freshman T-Shirt Day. Wear your Freshman T-Shirt you were given a freshman orientation and you could get a piece of candy and you could be entered into a Quick Trip gift card raffle. Show your school spirit and wear your T-Shirt today. Freshman class leaders will be looking for those who, that have won their T-Shirt to give them a raffle ticket and candy. Freshman Float, the Oak Park Homecoming Parade is Friday. All freshmen that want to join with the mighty freshman class of 2019, be sure to find the freshman banner and join us to the parade. See Ms. Dameron if you have any questions. Many alumni will be in Oak Park for the homecoming and juniors and seniors can come together to hear graduate, or hear graduate Joel Zeff speak during the second block on Friday. Let's take a look at Mr. Zeff. After the parade tomorrow, the junior girls take on the senior girls in the powder puff game. Let's take a look at that. Come on, girls! She is way better than that! Powder puff is an event where uh, girls play against each other, seniors versus juniors, and they try and get as many points as they can and um, junior boys and senior boys cheer, but everyone's welcome to come out, so make sure even if you didn't sign up or didn't get the chance to, you still come out to the field and play, or I mean watch, and um, you should watch because it is a lot of fun, and last year was a really big hit. Everyone came and everyone loved it, and hopefully because it's right after the parade, we'll have a lot more people there for a lot more support, and it should be lots of fun. Come on, Red that's a bad goal. Just do it. Be the match. This Saturday at, home, at the homecoming game between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m., we are asking everyone for between the age of 18 and 44 to sign up and be the match, or at the be the match table to be a potential bone marrow donor. We have several people in our Oak Park family who have benefited by a donor of bone marrow. It saved their life. Now you can help save someone else's life. 
If you are not yet 18, bring your parents by the booth. You can be a part in the saving of life by getting someone to join the registry. Be the Match uses a painless check swab process so everyone can help save a life. With this painless process, questions, ask a Key Club member or Ms. Dameron. For all students signed up to take the ACT this Saturday, September 12th, don't forget to bring your printed admission ticket and photo ID to take the test. You must have these items or you will not be able to test. College visits are coming up for Oak Park. Be sure to check the Counselor's Corner newsletter each week for an updated list. Today, Truman State, today, Truman State meets at 9.15 and Drury at 1 p.m. We'll be here to talk to juniors and seniors. On Monday, September 14th, you can meet with Avila or CMU. On Tuesday, September 15th, Missouri Southern is visiting. Next Wednesday, it will be Washburn, meeting with interested seniors. If interested in visiting with a college on the list, please visit the counseling office for a pass. September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Oak Park Cheer will be sponsoring the Gold Rush to Cure Cancer campaign the last week of September. If you would like a support shirt to wear at the game against Liberty North on September 25th, please find a cheerleader or Coach Mayab or Coach Haberberger. Support shirts will be sold until Monday the 14th and will be available for pickup at the football game on the 25th. All proceeds will be donated to St. Jude. Students, do you have 10 Norman Nichols that you've just been waiting to spend? Now is your chance to trade in pens for a homecoming ticket. Take your nickels to the office to take advantage of this limited number of tickets. And now over the sports. In sports, the volleyball team has had a strong start to the season. Let's take a look at this report about the support the team has. <laughs> OPVB season recently began after a summer of hard work under Coach McCall with brand new nets and companionships to go along with it. Volleyball being a team sport, we really work on communicating together and working together as a unit. <laughs> Under strong senior leadership, they are forced to be reckoned with. The opponents tremble in their presence. Well, this year's squad is led by three seniors, Ori Abaji, Carly Reichert, and Chloe Hilgenkamp. Okay, so I just want to say thank you, first of all, to all the fans, the staff that comes to watch us play, the fans that come every week, every game, and cheer us on. You guys provide such positive energy for our girls. They really feed off of that. Oak Park Volleyball and cheer them on in the lumber yard against Staley Tuesday and William Christman Thursday. This has been Taylor Doral and Madison Russell reporting for the Axe. Tuesday afternoon at the North Kansas City Natorium in Gladstone, the boys swim team defeated Winnetonka in a quad that featured Platte County, Staley, and Northtown. Joey Lake finished sixth in the 200-yard freestyle with a time of 2 minutes 31.96 seconds. Jonathan Hill finished second in the 200-yard individual at Medley with a time of 2 minutes 15.34 seconds. Cody Kaler finished 10th in the 50-yard freestyle with 26 minutes, 41 seconds. In diving, Cody Kolka finished 4th, and Cody Kaler finished 5th place. El Elliot Eisel Miller finished in 1st place with the 100-yard freestyle with a time of 51 minutes, 77 seconds. Hill finished 1st in 500 freestyle with a time of 5 minutes, 8.15 seconds. Hill was 1 quarter of a second away from qualifying for state with the swim. Alex Gallagher finished 6th place in the breaststroke with a time of 1 minute, 22.90 seconds. Isel Miller finished second in backstroke with a time of one minute. The combined relay team of Isel Miller, Dalton Didline, Hill, and Kaler finished second in the 400-yard relay with a time of three minutes, 58.54 seconds. Be sure to come out and support the Oak Park Divers next Friday afternoon, September 18th, and the boys swimmers on Saturday, September 19th at the Gladstone Community Center in North Kansas City Natorium on 69th and Home. Just south of 72nd Street, see Mr. Wrestler in N210 if you would like to earn service hours for keeping backup times for the swimmers on Saturday, September 19th. Congratulations to Caleb Dixon for being selected by the Northman Leadership Council as the faculty coach of the week for homecoming. Now back to news. 
In club news, do you like to draw, paint, or just hang out in a creative atmosphere? Check out this club. This club meets on Wednesdays. Does photography spark your interest? If you are fascinated by photography, editing, and creativity, then this program is for you. Hallmark's Exploring program enables high school students to work directly with photography professionals to assist students with tips and guidance to enhance your creativity. Register today at www.exploringkc.org. Open house will be held at, on September 16th, 6.30 at the Union Hill Studio. More information is online at www.exploringkc.org. Thank you for watching Oak Park. Remember to be ready, responsible, and respectful. It's the Oak Park way. I'm Ibtisam Jelani. And I'm Mason Hagel. Signing off for all of us here at the Axe. Have a good day.